Hello, my name is Yu Li Lian. I'm currently working as an embryologist in Genesis IVF. Uh, I've been working in this field for almost five years coming. A little bit background on me is that I studied the Bachelor of Science, uh, Medical Bioscience in Monash University. decided to become an embryologist for a variety of reasons, one of it being that reproductive science is very interesting because it not only consists of embryology field, it also uh, branches up to genetics. So way before I was an embryologist, I was working in a hospital um, as a medical lab technologist and there I noticed that science field is huge, like a person can actually go for many different paths. But what I wanted was, I wanted to be specialized solely on one field and do the best that I can. So on one fine day when I was scrolling through the web, I saw this opening of, um, for a trainee embryology. So somehow it was like a calling for me and I decided to apply for it. And thinking back now, I'm so glad that I applied for it. <laughs> um, IVF is very interesting. Um, as an embryologist, I'm able to be hands-on fully in my work, so it's really suitable for me because I'm a super active nerd. And also, as an embryologist as well, uh, one of our job scope is that we have to analyze the embryos. So when you, when I see the embryos growing from uh, day to day, it fascinates me, and it also motivates me to. Um, be try to perfect my skills and do more research so that I could deliver higher pregnancy rates for our patients. One of the most memorable case was that there was this couple a few years back came to Genesis trying to conceive so after that they decided to uh, plan for an IVF cycle so in that IVF cycle they obtained few embryos and did PG pre-genetic testing on it as well. So following the plan, she then plans and stimulate for a frozen embryo transfer. However, after two embryo transfers, she's still unable to get a successful implantation rate. So when that happens, um, our team of embryologists and doctors, we sat down and we think about it uh, to see what other changes or what are the tests that we can, treatments that we can do to help patients to achieve um, a successful pregnancy. After discussion, we then decide uh, to advise patients to do this test called the endometrial receptivity analysis, or also called as an, an ERA test. So in that test, we noticed that there was a slight shift of her window of implantation. So from there, doctor then changed her stimulation for her upcoming embryo transfer and finally she got pregnant. So during the day that we got the news that she successfully conceived, uh, we were so happy and so grateful. I would say not to be afraid at all because IVF is a very advanced field and there are many, many successful pregnancy from IVF. If you have any doubts at all, just remember we are here to help you and go through this process together to achieve your dreams of growing your family.